So, what are we going to do? We wrote the linear equation. We wrote, rewrote it as a standard form. Now, graph the equation, estimate the point of intersection, and explain what that means. So let's do that. All right, then. Let's raise this up so you can see the graph. Here we are. I hope you can see all this. Let me zoom out a little bit, okay? Here we go. That's it? <laughs> That's it. That is it. Here we go. All right, you see the bottom part. There it is. All right. Okay, so here's what the situation is now. We have to graph it. And to graph it, I'm going to use a slope-intercept form for each of the massage plates. Y is equal to 1 half x plus 30, which represents... What does that represent? Oh, yeah, the 10 fingers. That's $30 for shampoo and 50 cents per minute. And the knuckles are us, $18 for shampoo and six-fifths of a dollar per minute. Okay, so what is the y-intercept for the first guy, the 10 fingers? It's $30. So let's do it this way. Uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Okay? I can just keep on going and going. Now this, and that is going to be the total cost. Yep. And now the horizontal axis is going to the rise over run. So it's going to be up 1 over 2, whatever it is. So let's do it this way. Let's call it 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Do you see what I'm doing? I am manipulating the coordinate so that it suits my needs. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Okay? I'm making it fit my needs. So let's graph the first one. The y intercept is 30, which is right there. Whether you get the massage or not, you still have to pay for the shampoo cost, which is $30. But from there, the rise over run, the slope is up 1 over 2. So up 1, which is, these are by 2s, isn't it? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So up 1 is half step. But over here is the whole step, so 1, 2, right there. See? Now I could take that, and I could draw a line through those two points, which will give me some sort of a, a line that provides a visual. And this line that rises from left to right, is represented by a graph y is equal to 1 half x plus 30, which is the 10 fingers. Now, the second guy, the y-intercept is 18. Whether you get the massage or not, you have to pay for the shampoo, which is $18. So, these are by 2, 2, 4, 6, 8. Right there is the 18. See that? That's 18. And now, what's the rise over run? Up 6 over 5. Up 6 over 5. Rise 6 over 5. So from here, 2, 4, 6, and then run 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. See that? I'm going to draw a line through those two points. And, ooh, it's a little tricky. There I am. Oops, there I am. Oops, there I am. Ah, somewhere. Ah, uh, come on. And how's that? Is that pretty close? There it is. All right. So there's my second function. This one's represented by the knuckles are us. Y is equal to 6 over 5x plus 18. And now I graphed it. And the direction is said to estimate the point of intersection and explain what that means. There's the point of intersection. Where is that? Well, that is, looks like the x value here is going to be right there. That is the x value. And these are the minutes. So 10, 12, 14, about 16. So it's about 16 minutes of massage. And how much would that cost me? The cost is going to be about, let's see. I don't know, somewhere here? Is that close enough? And what is that about? About 30, 32, 34, about 35 bucks? About 35 dollars. 
That is when the explanation is that point of intersection explains that whether you go to knuckles or us, right here, or the ten fingers, if you get the massage for 16 minutes about, it will cost you about the same at $35. That's what that means.